Carried by number 26, Landon Dahl. chance to be a very, very good football team. We just got to keep working. Hey, and it's going to get tougher. It's going to get tougher and tougher and tougher. All right, but way to go battle. Way to go battle on the road and get a win. Man, I'm proud of this football team. I just want you to know that. I am proud. All right, we are all about the hoarded edge. And that's about mental and physical toughness. And it's about playing through the whistle. And we're representing our brand. We are representing our brand and who we want to be as a football team and as a football program. Uh, it feels great. You know, I've been working all, you know, all season trying to get my first touchdown and to have it do it here at home in front of my family and friends is a big deal. But you got to give credit to, you know, my O line and the receivers, everybody making plays, and it just opens everything up for us. Uh, it's awesome. I love it. You know, I'm all about going fast, and it's one thing we talked about when I was recruited, and I'm all about it. I love it. Oh, definitely. Antonio is a great, a great leader to learn from, and. Me and Denzel coming in as you know first year guys from the, for the team are coming in getting a lot of experience, getting a lot of learning from Coach Weezer and Antonio. And like I said, got to give credit to our offensive line setting us up big for making big runs and it works out. Yeah, that's huge. Uh, our D line was just playing physical and fast and just firing off the ball and trying to make a play. Uh, we, we came a long way, but I feel like we got more to go. We got more in the tank and we're just ready to go out to every game and just play our, to our highest effort. Uh, three and zero sounds good, but we're looking for more than that. We want to keep uh, keep growing and keep winning. Hey, thank you, Ron. I appreciate it. It was a good team effort. I'm proud of our guys. Came out today. A lot of energy and the defense needed to help us out. They did, and the same thing with the offense. So I'm just proud of our guys. Yeah, I kind of fit it through a tight window. We kind of uh, just kind of misread the throw, but uh, you know our defense bounced back and got a good stop for us there. But yeah, I just got to take care of the ball and make the right throws because those things can. Uh, cost us in uh, more serious competition. So um, I'm just proud of, our, proud of our guys for when we did hit adversity, um, they stepped up. Yeah, they did. You know, Denzel, Landon, and Antonio all ran the ball really well. You know, Landon got in the end zone twice. Um, he's a very special running back, and uh, uh, Denzel made that huge long run for us. You know, offensively, you know, our O-line did a great job making big holes for those guys. Yeah, it is. You know, he's a great guy, great friend of mine, great Ex excellent football player, so our thoughts and prayers go up to JB in this difficult time for him. So we just got to stay strong as a family and keep praying um, for the healing process. Uh, thank you, man. I'm just just happy to be doing this and just happy to be doing it for my team. Man. JB going down, man, that's that's just a real big motivation for me to just keep going and keep grinding for him. Really, uh, uh, we all know what, what we stand. We all know we have guys that need to step up, and when the time comes, we didn't think it would happen like this, but they're going to step up and they're going to make those plays just like JB did. Yeah, man, I just, I really focus on just catching that ball and just getting right upfield and always, it never go down on the first tackle, never go down. Your overall thoughts on the contest and your team's play? Good win on the road uh, against a team that, you know, 0-2, their backs were against the wall. We knew we were going to get their best effort. And, uh, you know, they're a team preseason pick, top four. And uh, uh, they played, their kids played hard. And I was just really proud of how our players just kept battling. It's just been been kind of a little bit, we talk about the horned edge and about who we want to be in our brand, and you know, we're seeing that. And uh, I thought defensively, I thought we played well. I, I really did, I mean, especially the first half. Uh, really, the only thing that we kind of gave up there in the first half, we just missed a tackle. Uh, missed a tackle, and they uh, took one in. Uh, we turned the ball over one time in the red zone um, on an interception. You know, besides that, I thought we played we played well. I mean, we hurt ourselves offensively a little bit in the first half with putting ourselves in bad situations. But, you know, third down, I think we're still pretty good. Glossy. Uh, glossy. I like that word, Ron. Uh, that's good. And that's what we got to be because if we, we're good on third down. Well, and that is that is true. I mean, and that's recruiting. I mean, and recruiting is such a vital part to the success of any football program and guys – you know, making plays, and we've had guys that have stepped up and made plays. I mean, Denzel Strong, somebody that hasn't played much uh, in the first two games except maybe a little bit, and we just thought we'd change it up a little bit. And, and uh, Denzel's had some issues with hanging on to the football, and but we've turned, but them other two kind of had some issues with it today too, and so we thought let's put him in there, and he made it. Our guys blocked it up up front, and he made a good run, and and that's good to see because we know he's only going to get better too as well. So.
Our players will. Uh, JB, uh, you know, not only is, is Justin Brown a great football player, but he is a great person. He's a great individual. And, uh, he's got good family. And, and uh, you know, unfortunately, like I told the team, that those things happen in this game. And uh, players get hurt. It's part of it. It's a physical game. Uh, we feel very confident in, in that position as far as depth. And guys have an opportunity to step up now and, and make plays and, and not miss a beat. Uh, you know, our thoughts and prayers are with, with Justin. Uh, and we want him to get better. And, and um, you know, it's just unfortunate that it had to happen. But again, he's been somebody that has stepped up and made plays as a true sophomore and was getting better each and every each and every game. I was very pleased. And uh, again, I was nervous, really, as a head coach, nervous about this game, just going on the road, coming off after a, an emotional win that we had last week, but then also the, the dynamics that we had to handle last week with basically playing two games in three days. Uh, and I thought our players handled it really well. Wednesday was a tough day for us practice-wise, and I felt like I could feel a little bit of players, the old, my legs are tired and, and we're worn out. and. I could feel that a little bit. So I, I thought Thursday we, I would have the message to him about what we want to be as a program. We want to be mentally and physically tough. And don't – I said, look, we're going to go down there Saturday and if something – we're not going to go down there and lose that game and then have excuses because that is not who we are. That is not who we're going to be. So I thought they came out and played really well. Like I said, I thought defensively the first half was our best half that we've played this year. We're playing with a lot of confidence right now offensively, Ron, and, um, you know, and that's a, that's a good thing. And it's a good thing because, like I said, on Thursday, our players are practicing with that confidence. It's not a confidence where they're going out and they're not working hard to get better. They're continuing to work hard, and that's good to see. You know, I think it makes our, – our players are hungry. They're very hungry offensively. I think they thrive off that. And, and uh, you know, again, I think confidence can be something that is uh, – can be a weapon. And – you know, you're right. I mean, we had our script ready to go on Wednesday. Our players knew what it was going to be, and we felt in rhythm and felt comfortable. And I thought we mixed it up on them well for the first time uh, all year. You know, we were, in a, we were in a tight end personnel grouping uh, this year or this game that we've been in the past two games. And I thought those tight ends who maybe, again, you don't hear about them, uh, guys like Connor and uh, Trenton Ball, those guys stepped up today and, and played well. That would be great. Our players, again, feed off that. The traditions, uh, dinner is something special. A lot of family, a lot of alumni come back. And, and I've said this before, Ron, we have a good product here. And uh, we got a good football team. And, and really, people need to come out and watch this football team play.